everybody. My name is Clarence Chongo, representing Financial Insight. We are here at uh, the Urban Hotel in Lusaka, and uh, our guest is uh, Dangote uh, Cement Zambia. And I'm sitting with the CEO of Dangote Cement Zambia, Mr. Vipu Agrawal. Mr. Vipu, thank you for being here with us. Thank you, Mr. Clarence. Uh, it's my pleasure. It's, it's a privilege for Dangote Cement Zambia to be talking to Financial Insight. Thank you so much, sir. Indeed. Um, tell us a little bit about the company that Dangote Cement is. Uh, we obviously understand that uh, the larger group originates from, uh, from West Africa. So if right. you can just set the context with us about Dangote Cement Zambia. Thank you, sir. <coughs> Dangote Cement Zambia Limited is a, is, a, is a part of Dangote Cement PLC based in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And we all know that from the Dangote name, that this group has been founded and had by none other than Mr. Aliko Dangote, the foremost um, entrepreneur and philanthropist in, in, in Africa. Mm -hmm. It is his vision to make basic products accessible and affordable across the continent. Mm -hmm. We know that the group has a huge presence in Nigeria where it started. About <coughs> Ten years ago, uh, Mr. Dangote decided to expand his cement business into sub-Saharan Africa and he invested in <coughs> more than eight countries, including mm -hmm. Zambia. That's why we are here. Uh, and uh, I would like to emphasize that it's an African company owned, built and run by Africans. Mm -hmm. It's an African uh, investment and it believes in providing uh, basic products to Africa across sub-Saharan Africa. So Dangote Cement Zambia started its operations uh, in the year 2015. It, is a, it was at that time the single largest investment in Zambia of US dollar 500 million in a state of the art 1.5 million ton cement plant with its own power plant and uh, transportation. And, uh, in terms of its size, in terms of its sophistication, it still stands today as the most modern, sophisticated and largest facility in the region. Uh, fully integrated with its own power plant and own transport transportation fleet. So uh, the plant is in Andola and in the Copper Belt province and we have been successfully manufacturing and supplying cement not only to Zambia but all neighboring countries. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. That's, that's such a, uh, an interesting story. I, I didn't know that you produce your own power yes. for, for, for the plant. So um, how are you producing that power using? Yeah, so we use coal which is abundantly available in Zambia. Okay. Uh, we have a 30 megawatt uh, captive power plant and uh, we use that power uh, to to run, <coughs> to operate our cement plant and not only that, the, all the excess power available to us, we, uh, we export it, we sell it, uh, so it, we are contributing to the power generation of the country. So it goes into the grid? Yes, we, it goes in, we sell to uh, Copper Belt Energy Corporation uh -huh. with whom we have an arrangement and it is then by them uh, sold to various customers including the mines and other customers they have. So, the point is that we are a net contributor of, of power where, where the uh, situation is that the country and the region needs more power. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. No, thank you very much for that. That's really interesting. So, um, in terms of uh, just, you know, just zooming in now on your operations uh, in general, what are your ambitions for the year 2024 for Dangote Cement uh, Zambia? Right. Thank you, sir. Uh, for any business, uh, the, uh, the simple answer is to grow your markets in domestic uh, regions and exports and your revenue and your profits. Mm -hmm. But I would put that as last. Okay. Our priorities and ambitions for the year start with our people. Mm -hmm. Health, safety of our people with uh, zero lost time incidents, mm -hmm. keeping them safe. Uh, caring for the environment, uh, fully fully subscribing to the uh, Zambian laws and global uh, 
sustainability goals. As we know that uh, today the whole world is facing a challenge on, <coughs> on carbon dioxide emissions yeah. and pollution. So, uh, cement is a basic industry where it is exposed to uh, emissions. So, we are fully committed uh, to all the sustainability goals. Mm -hmm. Talking further about people, the people most important to us are the communities in where we operate. Mm -hmm. In our case, uh, we are near Endola in the chief, senior chief Chivala area. Mm -hmm. The communities around us, we care for them, we, we make sure that we give them even enough opportunities to acquire skills and, and have gainful direct or indirect employment. Mm -hmm. We run a program uh, <coughs> to impart vocational skills mm. uh, to the youth of the um, area. So, it is part of many things we do. So, these are our ambitions. The first care for our people and then with them, of course, uh, attain our business uh, objectives. Absolutely. Wow, that's uh, excellent. And. Uh, <coughs> If we now perhaps change tack a little bit and talk about the Paka Paka, which is a campaign that you've been running, uh, I think it's since December and it's been running yes. for three months. Right, Can sir. you just describe what, you know, what you've been doing with this uh, campaign? Okay. Paka Paka in one sentence is reward to our customers. Mm -hmm. we, we talked uh, about our business priorities on the communities we, we live and work with. But no business can be complete without its customers. Yeah. They are the most important aspect. So that's what we are here for, to provide uh, cement uh, to <coughs> the people of Zambia and the region. So this program, Paka Paka, is simply rewarding our loyal customers. Mm -hmm. Customers across Zambia. For us, a customer is every individual Zambian citizen who aspires to build a house or a small business where his construction needs uh, we can meet. Mm -hmm. And the focus of this program is to go to the uh, smallest level. And the program is designed to reward a person who buys 10 bags of cement. Mm -hmm. He may be buying that bags for extension of his house or building a shop or something very small. Mm -hmm. And we want to reach him. That is the philosophy of this program. Mm -hmm. Over the three months, we have rewarded several customers. Mm. Okay, uh, so I note uh, from uh, uh, the speeches that were given uh, earlier on today mm. that uh, you've given away about 450,000 kwacha to your customers. Now, that, that's, yes. that's quite a tidy amount of money. Uh, so what were the, the main reasons for you to dish out so much cash to people? You see, the, uh, we have uh, given out cash, it is, that's the reward. Mm -hmm. but, and it is the, the money which goes to uh, the, the people who receive the reward and who participate in our program by buying small quantities of cement, that's the, the money for. But I would answer beyond that. Mm -hmm. It's about reaching them. Absolutely. Yeah, it's about penetrating into rural areas across the country retail, uh, building relationships with our customers and end users of our cement, understanding them, getting feedback from them. Does our cement reach them on time? Is it affordable? Mm -hmm. What better we can do? If, how can we advise them on proper usage of cement? It's, 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 it's kind of becoming a family with our customers. It's about relationship building. Yeah. I mean, I would put money as a means to an end, not yeah. the end. Uh -huh. Absolutely. So um, this Paka Paka Reloaded campaign, mm. uh, it's clear that uh, mm. uh, it's been quite successful in improving your relationships with your customers. Uh, but beyond that, um, I'm sure that it's had an impact on the market in general. So how do you think that it's positioned you competitively in the Zambian cement business uh, uh, and market? Thank you. We are quite competitively placed in the market. Dangote is an iconic brand. Uh, I mentioned earlier today that uh, 
when Dangote cement came to Zambia in 2015, mm. every Zambian will tell you that it redefined uh, availability and price of cement in the country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, we, since then we have aspired and strived to be a market leader by <coughs> providing top of the range cement products to our customers across the country and good service. And Paka Paka goes to reinforce that position. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's, it's a competitive environment. Zambia is well blessed uh, with a uh, lot of raw materials for making cement. Mm -hmm. uh, we have number of peer companies uh, in the sector. We are all competing fairly. And uh, we believe that our efforts are focused to sustain our position as a preferred brand, as a, as a preferred partner. And I think uh, we are meeting those objectives. So, did you think that uh, through this campaign and perhaps an other initiatives, uh, do you believe this gives Dangote, um, within the year 2024, more uh, perhaps an advantageous position over the competition? It, it positions us well. Mm -hmm. uh, it positions us well to serve our customer. And uh, as I said, that we all have, we all do what is required to be done. Mm -hmm. See, yes, it, so it improves our position, and it's and improving position is about sustaining it. It's not about a one-time effort. Uh -huh. So we we continuously strive to give good products, good service, constant contact with our customers, and it is part of that campaign. Mm -hmm. And this campaign gave us the opportunity, as I mentioned, to personally interact more with our consumers mm -hmm. uh, by <coughs> uh, running the program across the country, having large amount of participation. So I believe that, yes, it has put us in a position of uh, strength and advantage vis-a-vis uh, -vis the ordinary people, normal citizens of Zambia to meet their needs. Mm -hmm. We understand our customers better. Yeah. I think that is the advantage. Absolutely. Okay, so earlier today, when um, the whole uh, finale and uh, prize giving was going on, we had the uh, representative from the Ministry of Commerce, Trade and Industry. Um, so obviously, you've been, you have an association in terms of uh, a working relationship with them. Can you tell us uh, what your views are on the role that uh, their playing in promoting trade, especially with regards to Dangote cement and how they are helping you exploit the markets in the region. Okay. Thank you, sir. First of all, <coughs> Ministry of Trade, Commerce and Industry is our parent uh -huh. of the manufacturing sector, of the cement uh, producing sector. So, so they are our mother and father. They they have enabled us and others. Their objective is to grow, uh, encourage and grow business by enabling factors, by providing the correct policies, the, the rules, the uh, easing out the licensing process, encouraging and uh, making a good climate for investment mm -hmm. and helping us whenever we face any challenges. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would like to put on record the, the excellent attitude and approach of the government of Zambia and our parent ministry of trade, commerce and industry in, in fostering development and of our sector. Mm -hmm. So whatever we do has to be part of the larger objective of, of the country, of the government. Yeah. And we continuously seek direction and guidance from them. We also, uh, and we are very, uh, in fact, humbled to have them here. Uh, uh, the Honorable Minister uh, represented by the Permanent Secretary, the Director of Industry and the Chief Economist. Mm -hmm. It also shows the commitment of the government, of the ministry to support us uh, as an industry, to encourage us to make uh, basic products available to the people of the country. So, it was a demonstration from our side to them that 
the kind of efforts we are doing by rewarding our loyal customers, understanding their needs. Mm -hmm. And we are very happy that the, uh, the ministry participated. So it's part of the larger goal. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Thank you. Um, let's now maybe zoom back to what Dangote is, is, is doing and perhaps if you could share if there are any projects that you that are in the pipeline to support um, uh, infrastructure. Uh, mm. I would like to believe that mm. Mm. You, you, you have an interest in supporting uh, Zambia's infrastructural framework. So what projects are in the pipeline this year Thank in you. line with that? Thank you, sir. Uh, we are talking at a very, how can I say, momentous time. Uh -huh. Uh, today, in the last few days, we have uh, seen the announcement of the financial closure of the Andola Lusaka Expressway, which is, as we know, is the lifeline of the country. Mm -hmm. uh, this highway connecting Andola to Lusaka is the lifeline of the country. Absolutely. And this, this has been a project which the government has been pursuing uh, for some time and to start. Mm -hmm. Now, we are at the at the verge of start of the project. Mm -hmm. So we are, as Dangote, as industry, we are fully ready to support and provide quality products for this project. Absolutely. Uh, there are other several projects which the government has uh, finalized. And also uh, the news of the restructuring of the debt, which is going to enable uh, investment and development in the economy. Indeed. We would say that we have been preparing for this moment for a long time. Mm -hmm. We are ready. <laughs> we will contribute in providing quality products and services to the country. I would also like to mention the, the advantages and the opportunities of Zambia. And I would uh, reference <clears throat> the words of His Excellency the president of the country, where he is encouraging local materials, local industry. Absolutely. Uh, if you will recollect that the, His Excellency, the president, has repeatedly mentioned that we should be make, building more concrete roads, which are durable, mm -hmm. which uses local material. We have, uh, Zambia has abundance of cement, abundance of uh, stones uh, to be used for <laughs> building uh, concrete. Mm. And why we should not use that instead in, and we import uh, bitumen and asphalt from at a, at a cost paying dollars. Mm. He, has, he has been championing this and now it is, this vision of the president is coming to fruit. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the 7 kilometer Chibombo road within Kitwe, the work is about to start. In fact, the Work has started, we will be supplying cement in a couple of weeks. Okay. <laughs> the, uh, you might have read in the newspaper that the sections of the road have been closed, the contractor is on site. So we are very excited because that is the, we need sustainable infrastructure mm -hmm. in the country. Indeed. Even as part of the Lusaka and Ola Expressway, there are significant sections in concrete, mm -hmm. uh, dual carriageway. This is going to open up the economy. We all know the challenges everybody is facing in terms of movement of goods uh, on the main business corridor. There are several other projects of the government and uh, in the opening of the mining sector, uh, is there, the, we see we are very excited. Mm. So we are fully positioned. We are part of many iconic uh, projects. Uh, one project I would like to mention more as a showcase of our, our quality, if you might have seen, if you are staying in Lusaka, the Pyramid Hotel, the tallest building in, yes, in, in Lusaka and in Zambia. Yeah. 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 Okay. And uh, it has been fully built with uh, Dangote cement. So we are, uh, we are there. We are in the right place at the right time and we are fully committed to participate in all infrastructure and development projects. <coughs> in addition, which we have talked through our Paka Paka initiative, we are there for the citizens and the individual consumers of Zambia. Indeed. Okay, thank you. Um, 
clearly, and you've, pro you've alluded to it in, in your uh, previous answers, mm -hmm. this government has, uh, it's very business friendly and it's coming up with uh, initiatives and, and uh, drives to bring um, business uh, closer to government, if you like. There's PPDF, which is the private, public-private dialogue uh, forum, forum uh, etc. So in, in, your, in your view, is there any further assistance you think that, uh, or you believe that the government should provide to ensure that we establish a healthy manufacturing sector uh, that helps grow exports? Thank you. Uh, yes, you mentioned about the uh, public-private <coughs> dialogue forum. I was there uh, in the meeting last week. Okay. I, I was amazed by the level of openness and willingness to collaborate. Mm -hmm. We had representatives, senior officials from most of the relevant ministries. Mm -hmm. We had all captains of industry. And many issues for being uh, uh, discussed, agreed and sorted out across the table. As we all know that, you know, these things take so much time and bureaucratic, but the, the spirit was amazing. And the government creating such platform and willing to listen to us is, is, is truly a, a great experience. I would talk about exports. The, one of the things uh, we all know uh, that government has mentioned that Zambia is a land-linked country. Mm -hmm. Because historically, we, always, we have grown up to know oh, Zambia is a landlocked country. Uh -huh, exactly. It's not landlocked, it's a land-linked country. Uh -huh. And it took me some time to understand it in my four years in Zambia, mm -hmm. that what is the true meaning of this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what I have realized is that cement manufacturing sector is probably if not the best, one of the best examples of land lit country. Mm -hmm. We as an industry are exporting cement east, west, north, south, everywhere out of Zambia. Zambia is, uh, is, is endowed with huge deposits of limestone which are the raw materials. Mm -hmm. There is good investment in cement. We have quality cement manufacturing in the country. And I am happy to say that Dangote is, is, is the front runner at, at, or at, is at the, <coughs> at the top of the game. Mm. For the last three years, we have been winning Exporter of the Year Award in the large okay. enterprise category, uh, being awarded by none other than the Ministry of Trade, Commerce and Industry uh, along with Zambia Bureau of Standards. Mm -hmm. So what it means in the manufacturing sector, we are the highest uh, foreign exchange earner for the country. If you leave out the traditional exports of copper, and a uh, few other products, we are a huge contributor to the economy. Mm -hmm. Where government and us can partner is to further open the doors uh, of exports. Yeah. Uh, even uh, this morning, uh, over a cup of tea with the PS, she mentioned <coughs> opportunities in one of the neighboring countries. And uh, they have invited us uh, to see how we can help. Mm -hmm. So this is this is real collaboration yeah, yeah. because we we are here to uh, you know uh, foster growth and it's a win win partnership indeed, yeah indeed. so we are very excited uh, particularly on exports we are already exporting to four neighboring countries uh, we uh, and the government policies are extremely friendly whenever we face any issues we uh, the Honorable Minister and his team are a phone call away uh, to help us and uh, we intend to grow our exports further to contribute to the economy. Excellent. Um, if you have any like last words that you like to share with your customers or your suppliers or you know uh, the country. Our <laughs> customers, our suppliers, uh, our people in the communities we work in, they, they are our family. Indeed. Yeah. And we, we, our ambition is to remain very close with them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thank you very much thank for you, being sir. here with us. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Vipu Agrawal, the CEO of Dangote Cement Zambia. It's been a pleasure, sir. Thank you. It's, my, it's been my pleasure. Thank you, sir.